Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you the running of Lab 6. So this is Lab 6 all done, and we have a three-board stack, uh, the launch pad, um, version of the CC2650, your launch pad onto which you have your operating system in Lab 6 solution, and the MK2 booster pack on top. Okay. I'm going to hit the reset button, and you can see what happens next. Okay, so I'm going to start it up. Okay, so blanks, uh, and over here uh, in Texas Display, we see that the uh, Bluetooth has been uh, uh, configured with the one service, the six or seven characteristics, uh, set up advertising, and now it's waiting for a connection. All right, I got my cell phone on, and I've uh, started light blue, like I did in the other videos. And there it is. There, Shape the World. That's the advertising uh, that was configured by Lab 6, Shape the World. And so I'm going to connect to it. So I click Connect. And you can see that the advertising is set up. And then over in the um, in Texas display, you can see that the messages are exchanged as the... Um, launch pad, your launch pad, interfaces with the network processor on the CC2650. All right. So there's a, a number of characteristics. You see them there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven characteristics. And uh, the first one is a read-write characteristic. So I can write a new value to it. And that will set the uh, plot display. You can see it's uh, uh, plotting acceleration. And so I can change the plot. Now you can see it's plotting sound. All right, that was plot state. Um, the next three are, are all very similar. Uh, they're read only. Uh, the first one here is time. And so I can read the time. OK, the next one is sound. And as you can see, uh, when I read the sound, uh, I get the value. And so it's taking the characteristic or the data sound from the embedded device and sending it to uh, the phone. And over on the Texas display, you can see those messages uh, as well. OK, that was sound. The next one's temperature. I can read the temperature. OK, uh, the next one is light. And so I'm reading the sensor values one at a time explicitly uh, from, the, from, the, uh, from the embedded device. Uh, let me do, uh, I'm going I'm to skip the, um, the edX num. That I'm going to show you a different video on how to get grade. Uh, but the last one I want to show you is steps. And so I'm going to do a listen for um, notifications. And you can see that it's now listening. All right. Uh, and then what we have is a streaming. Uh, and so if my device is uh, getting steps, you see the light changes color. And the number of steps here, eight, is now sent to the phone. So in summary, what we have is our fitness device we've been doing all semester, but we've added Bluetooth uh, so that the data of the fitness device can be streamed or sent to the phone. And there are some things on the phone that I can use to control my fitness device. Let me show you one more thing I did with Lab 6. Uh, there's a, there's a, a wristband. Let's start with it. Uh, there's my embedded device. Here's a second wristband. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, my embedded device, uh, and I'm going to uh, stick it on the second wristband. I'm going to stick the whole thing onto my hand. There, we got this whole thing onto my hand. Now we need some power. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a battery here. Now I'm going to need a cable. All right, I got my uh, power connected uh, into the launch pad. I got my battery. I got my three board stack. And now I have this fitness device. Uh, of course, uh, I have my second battery, which is in my phone. And now I can, uh, uh, I have a, a machine, a final version of my fitness device, which I can use to uh, to carry around with me. Now it's not very small, um, but there you go. There's Lab Six. Have fun.